a little nervous, but I'm excited. Definitely excited. Been waiting for this moment for a long time. Wake up to you every morning. Sleep next to you every night. And even when you're not near me, you're by my side. biggest decision to never let you go and it's really hard to put into words how much I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together I'm so blessed to have met you and I'm so thankful that God has this plan for us I can't wait to see what an amazing mother you will be in the future and thank you for choosing me as your partner God has blessed me with the most perfect person to walk through life with. Thank you for being the woman that you are. Thank you for doing so much to make our wedding amazing. Thank you for choosing me to spend the rest of your life with. My best friend, my person, my lover, my swipe right, perfect match. In less than 12 hours, I become your wife and we will be pronounced as Mr. and Mrs. Brett Michael. I wish I could articulate the feelings I have about marrying you. Words that come out of my mouth do not feel deep enough, rich enough, and powerful enough to express the joy, excitement, and love I have been feeling in the weeks leading up to today. Today is the day we will look back on when our hair is gray and reminisce over our journey started. Our journey will be filled with joy, with challenges, and with countless life changes, but with grace and wisdom, what a journey it will be. I love you forever and for always. Your future wife. always been special from the minute she was born she grabbed my pinky and looked up at me and uh... <laughs> ever since then she's grabbed my pinky anytime she's needed me so uh, it's a very special day for Don and I I uh, hold my pink. <laughs> you are gorgeous. Thank you. God has blessed us with three daughters. And you're special. You'll always be a special person in our lives. And we'll always love you. Thank you for everything. You're my welcome. best friend. Do you like it? Yes. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Lord, we just pray that we can keep you at the center of our marriage and we can continue to grow together in our lives and in our faith. Almighty God, we welcome you tonight as our most honored guest. God, thank you for the gift of marriage and thank you for uniting Anne and Brett as husband and wife today. Brett wrote to you, Anne, what drew me to Anne is that she is so caring, thoughtful, supportive, funny, intelligent, and driven. She is the perfect partner to go through life with. I want Anne to know that I love her very much and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. 
I know there will be tough seasons, but God will always be our guide and he will give us strength. What drew me to Brett is his love for people and his love to love people. I want Brett to know today that I can't wait to be his wife, his life partner, and his best friend forever. He is selfless, loyal, funny, constant, and faithful. He's the one I want to share all my triumphs and sorrows with. Remember, you don't walk this path alone. Other hands are here for you, these family and friends. Know that behind you, beneath you, around you, and within you are the outstretched arms of Jesus Christ. Anne, I am so excited to start this adventure with you and experience all that God has for us as husband and wife. To together not only love each other, but all those around us with love that we may only know because of Jesus. Brett, today and every day, I take you as my husband, loving you now and as you grow and develop into all that God intends. I will love you when we are together and when we are apart, when our lives are at peace and when they are in turmoil, when I am proud of you and when I am disappointed in you, in times of rest and in times of work. Through Christ's power in me, I choose you and I'll choose you over and over and over again without pause, without doubt, in a heartbeat, I will keep choosing you. I will honor your goals and dreams and help you fulfill them. From the depth of my being, I will seek to be open and honest with you. I give myself to you and I will continue to give myself to you so that every day we may be completely one. I say these things believing that God is in the midst of all of them. I give you this ring, I give, I give you, you this ring, ring, to wear with love and joy, to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end, as, as a ring has, has no end, end, neither shall my love for you, neither shall my love for you. I choose you this day I and forevermore. I choose you for this, this day and forevermore. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brett, you may kiss this incredibly gorgeous bride. <laughs> yeah. These are the best of the days. These are the memories we'll hold. We'll hold on to this thing called time that we all share all that matters is we're together here together here you know many people think that because Ricky and I are very good friends and we talk to our to each other more than we talk to our wives that we had something to do with these two getting together. That's not true. As a matter of fact, if you try and figure out how a Raider and a Mustang and a, Zep and a Zephyr and a Zephyr and a Pony can somehow find each other and fall in love, there's only one explanation, and that explanation is that it was God's plan. I thought it'd only be fitting to show the true colors. The Bible teaches us to pray boldly. So, Brett and Ann, our prayer for you today is for you to continue to welcome God into your lives each and every day of your marriage. Ann, you are getting the most trusting person that has your back everything that you go through tough rain you know everything no matter if it's his problem your problem you just need to get through it you got the right guy by your side
on all of these adventures that I went on and all of these new things, I dragged Anne along with me. And so Anne, you have been um, a support in my life, my whole entire life, and I am forever grateful. You continue to be a support. So here we are today with all of our friends and family, and I have told Brett and Annie this, this is the one time in your life that you will be with all of your friends and family in one place at one time. So to everybody who's here, raise your glass and toast to Miss Annie Michelle and Brett. To give the here, to give the now,